Did you know that the United States has one of the highest teen pregnancy rates in the world? It's about 700,000 births per year for teens. You want to know what the sad part is? It's actually decreasing from what it used to be. People in America are, are just pushing the problem of teen pregnancy under the rug. They think, you know what, it's not my problem, it doesn't involve me, I don't need to worry about it. Somebody else will fix it. And they need to admit that it's a problem. That problem is that teens are unaware of the consequences of sex. The first reason why teens are unaware of the consequences of sex is because teenagers see teen pregnancy glamorized on TV. The second reason is because teenagers misunderstand who all te teen pregnancy affects. The third reason is because teenagers are not taught enough sex education in schools. The first reason why teenagers are unaware of the consequences of sex is because our culture influences their views on teen pregnancy. My first main point is that teenagers see teen pregnancy glamorized on TV. Jennifer Stevens, Elizabeth Ben Morowitz, and Kyungbo Kim wrote an article for the Journal of Health Communications. In this article, they started talking about how teens see the money that the mothers on 16 and pregnant get, and they think, you know what? It's a fairy tale from MTV. If I get pregnant, I'll just call up MTV. And I'll make a whole bunch of money. I'll make a career out of, it, out of it even. That same article from the Journal of Health Communications also talked about how so these teens are being looked at as celebrities instead of examples. The MTV, after the success of 16 and Pregnant, decided that they were going to make a continuation of it called Teen Mom. Teen Mom followed the lives of the first two season moms further after giving birth to their child and taking care of the child. And after all the attention that these moms get, got, they started to become celebrities. And these moms aren't seen as examples like MTV wanted them to be. They're seen as more as role models or somebody that the teens aspire to be. And my first point proved that teen pregnancy is being glamorized on TV. So these shows are not informing about teen pregnancy, but are interesting teens in the idea of teen pregnancy. My second main point is that teens misunderstand who all teen pregnancy actually affects. Julia Bodeeb from Livestrong.com wrote an article about the effects of teen pregnancy. First, she talks about how teen pregnancy affects the mother. The mother could have poor medical care because, let's say, her family doesn't support her in her decisions, so she can't afford to go to the hospital and get regular checkups. Or maybe the father's not in the picture and she has increased stress because she has to figure out how she has to take care of the child by herself. Or maybe she is worried about taking care of the child by herself and going to school, so she has to drop out of school. And at the time, it feels like a good idea, but in the long run, it hurts her and her child because she can't provide for her child like she's supposed to. She could also continue to harm herself by continuing to smoke or even do drugs. That same article by Julia, Julia Bodeeb said that there's lots of, lots of effects that also help the ch harm the child. The child could have medical issues, behavior issues, or even learning disabilities that harm them for the rest of their lives. So my second main point proved that teens misunderstand the effects of teen pregnancy. They need to know that it affects the mom and the child for the rest of their lives. My third main point is that teenagers are not being taught enough about sex education in schools. The American Journal of Sexuality Education wrote an article about Dennis Carlson's book, The Education of Arrows, A History of Education and the Problem of Adolescent Sexuality. In the first part of this article, it talks about how Carlson's book discusses how our culture has changed over time and how the amount of sex education and what the content of the sex education classes have changed over time with it. For example, during the 50s when the idea of the perfect family was the main goal for people, sex ed mainly consisted of once you get that perfect family, how you're going to deal with it and help you later on in life. And then after that it turned to pregnancy prevention when the teen pregnancy rates started to rise a lot. After that it turned to AIDS and STD prevention because that was during the AIDS epidemic. And then it turned to what it is now, which is mainly abstinence and prevention. That same article from the Journal of Sexuality Education talked about how in Dennis's book, he wanted to control the urges of teens. Well, if you're going to control the urges of teens, I think that 
and you need to start earlier. You need to start when they're in, say, sixth grade, because at age sixth grade, they're not going to have their views set already. Their minds are going to be open, and they're going to be relatively unaware of anything at that age. So they're more likely to actually listen to the stuff that you're going to teach them. So my third main point proved that teenagers are not being taught enough about sex education in schools. These are all reasons why teens are unaware of the consequences of sex. So that's review. I know multiple people who either don't care when they see somebody they know get pregnant or just don't really realize how much it actually affects the person. And they have that set system of beliefs because that's just what happened over time for them. And this may be because of the influence of TV or even the fluctuation of sex education in schools, but I think that everybody needs the opportunity to learn about the effects of teen pregnancy and who it all affects, like the mother and the child, for the rest of their lives. Because it's a serious problem. That problem is that teens are unaware of the consequences of sex. The first reason why teens are unaware of the consequences of sex is because Teenagers see teen pregnancy glamorized on TV. The second reason is because teenagers misunderstand who all teen pregnancy actually affects. And the third reason is because teenagers are not receiving enough sex education in schools. Thank you.